When you work with others, you may need to exchange drawings with someone who is using an older version of AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT. Those users may not be able to open drawings created using newer versions of the software. In order to accommodate those who are using older versions of AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT, you can use the DWG Convert utility to change drawings so that they can be opened in those older versions. To start the DWG Convert utility, expand the application menu by clicking the big red A in the upper left corner of the screen and then choose Save As, DWG Convert. The program displays the DWG Convert dialog. The area on the left shows the drawing files to be converted and is initially empty. In order to convert drawings, you must first load them into the DWG Convert dialog. Click the Add File button to display a standard file selection dialog box in which you can select drawing files to add to the conversion list. I'll choose several files and then click Open. Notice that after adding the files to the list, the list can be displayed in either a tree or a list view. Notice also that there are several other buttons below the file list. You can click the Add File button again to add additional files to the list of those you want to convert. You can click the New List button to clear the current conversion list so that you can select a new list of drawings for conversion. If you click the Save List button, you can save the current list of drawings to a special Batch Conversion List or BCL file. This can be very handy, particularly if you will continue to do work on the drawings in the list and will need to convert them again in the future. And if you have previously saved a BCL file, you can click the Open List button to load a batch conversion list or the Append List button to add the files in a batch conversion list to the list of files already displayed in the DWG Convert dialog. On the right side of the dialog is a list of conversion setups. Notice that this list already contains five predefined conversion setups. If you select one of these setups, you can see a description of the setup. For example, notice that if I choose Convert to 2000, I can see that the DWG Convert utility will convert the files in the list into the 2000 format and save the converted files to the My Documents folder on my computer. If I hover the cursor over the conversion setups, I can also see a tooltip that describes the conversion type, file format, folder, and other options. You can modify conversion setups or create new setups. To do so, click the Conversion Setups button. The program displays a list of conversion setups. To create a new conversion setup, click the New button. To modify an existing conversion setup, choose it in the list on the left and then click the Modify button. Notice that you can also rename or delete conversion setups. But note that you cannot rename or delete the standard setup. I'll click the New button to create a new conversion setup. In the New Conversion Setup dialog, I must enter a name for the new conversion setup. I'll call it CAD Learning 2007 and I can base my new setup on any existing conversion setup. I'll accept the default, which is to use the standard setup, and click Continue. In the Modify Conversion Setup dialog, I can choose the settings I want to use for converting drawings. For example, in the Conversion Package Type dropdown, I can choose to convert the files in place, which will overwrite the existing files, or place the converted files into a new directory, 
or combine the converted files into a self-extracting or standard zip file. In this case, I'll choose to place the converted files into a zip file. In the File Format dropdown, I can choose the version to which I want to convert the files. Notice that I can choose the 2013, 2010, 2007, 2004, 2000, or R14 file format. Note that not every previous version appears in this list, because the file format doesn't necessarily change with each release. For example, the 2007 file format is also used in the 2008 and 2009 versions of the program, and then the format changed starting with the 2010 release. Since I want to convert from the current version to the 2007 release, in the File Format dropdown, I'll choose the 2007 drawing format. I can also use this checkbox to specify whether drawing files are saved with visual fidelity for annotative objects. Annotative objects may have multiple scale representations. When this checkbox is selected, each scale representation will be saved to a separate layer. Notice that there are quite a few other options I can configure. For example, in the Conversion File Folder field, I can specify the location in which the conversion package is created. I can also control whether the DWG Convert Utility prompts me for the conversion file name, uses a logical default file name, and overwrites any previous version of that file, or uses a logical default file name but creates a new version by adding a number to the end of the file name. In the Actions area, you can control whether backup files are created during the conversion, control whether digitally signed drawings are converted, check drawings during conversion and fix any errors encountered, bind external references, password protect the conversion package, and so on. And in the conversion setup description, you can enter a description for the conversion setup. Once you have finished configuring the conversion setup, click OK. Then click Close to close the conversion setups dialog. To convert the files in the list, Choose the conversion setup that you want to use, and then click Convert. Depending on the conversion setup you choose, the program may display a standard dialog box so that you can specify the name of the conversion package. When I click Save, the files in the list will be converted and saved to the conversion package file using the settings specified in the conversion setup. When you are done using the DWG Convert Utility, click the Close button. The program will display an alert dialog asking if you want to save the current list of files. If you plan to convert these same files again in the future, you can click Yes to save the list to a batch conversion list file. Otherwise, you can simply click No to close the DWG Convert Utility.